There's breaking news tonight in the attacks on the oil fields in Saudi Arabia. The president today saying it appears that Iran is behind them. He also didn't rule out the possibility of retaliatory strike by the U.S., although it appears that some of the administration are trying to walk back the president's own language. Take, for instance, whether we will attack Iran. The president uh, sounded very warlike in his tweet last night. Quote, Saudi Arabia oil supply was attacked. There's reason to believe that we know the culprit are locked and loaded, depending on verification, but are waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of this attack and under what terms we would proceed. Now, obviously, locked and loaded, which is what the president said, is a term we're all familiar with. It references our military posture. It's a direct reference to weaponry. It's pretty clear. But then this morning, things got less clear. Vice President Pence's chief of staff, Mark Short, was asked about the tweet and the term locked and loaded. Here's what he said. I think that locked and loaded is a broad term that talks about the reality is that we're also far safer and more secure domestically from energy independence. Locked and loaded, he's saying, is a broad term about energy independence. Has anyone ever actually used the term locked and loaded in that way? Our, our fossil fuels are locked and loaded? It doesn't really make sense. We're locked and loaded with natural gas and other fossil fuels, not to mention wind and solar. Keeping them honest, we all know what the president meant by locked and loaded. Clearly, the vice president's office doesn't want to come out and say, oh, just disregard the tweet sent out by the president last night. Instead, they're pretending it means something else. It's not the only attempt in the midst of this crisis to walk back something the president has said. Now that the administration appears to be considering a strike against Iran, the president is claiming he never said he wanted to negotiate with the Iranian president without any preconditions. On Sunday, he tweeted, The fake news is saying that I'm willing to meet with Iran, no conditions. That is an incorrect statement as usual. Now, the problem with that, we should point out, is this president's tweet is just not true. In fact, not only has the president spoken about meeting with no preconditions, so have other members of the administration. And it's on tape. Let's play. You want to talk good, otherwise you can have a bad economy no for the next three years. N not as far as I'm concerned. No preconditions. Now, I think uh, the president's made it very clear that he's more than prepared. With no preconditions. To have the discussions with no preconditions. Okay. With the Iranians. Now, the president has made clear he, he's happy to take a meeting with no preconditions. The president's made very clear he's prepared to meet with no preconditions. So I believe in meeting. I would certainly meet with Iran if they wanted to meet. Do you have preconditions for that meeting? No preconditions, no. They want to meet, I'll meet. Anytime they want. Anytime they want. It's good for the country, good for them, good for us, and good for the world. No preconditions. All right, well, that seemed pretty clear. And that last statement, by the way, that was from July of last year. So this has been a talking point for well over a year now. Suddenly, though, the president wants to pretend otherwise and is just making stuff up. Today, he continued doing just that. Well, you know, there were always conditions because the conditions, if you look at it, the sanctions are not going to be taken off. So if the sanctions, that's a condition. So, you know, that's why the press misreported it. Okay, I, I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to say here, but I think it's that even though he said he would meet with no preconditions and many people in his administration have verified that's what he believed, he's saying there are tough sanctions in place and the president is now calling those conditions and because those sanction conditions wouldn't be lifted to talk, any talk that took place wouldn't be a talk without preconditions. Does that make sense? It doesn't. The latest, I want to go to CNN White House correspondent Boris Sanchez. Boris, so the president is saying uh, it's, quote, looking like Iran was behind this attack. He still is not definitively saying they did it, correct? Right, Anderson. We pretty much know who it is. That's the closest that President Trump came to actually blaming Iran, far short of where he went on Twitter in terms of a response over the weekend. Uh, we should note his Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, not apprehensive at all. He's squarely placing the blame on Iran. And the discrepancy is so glaring that today reporters asked Trump if Pompeo perhaps had information that the president had yet to see. Trump assured reporters that they were both on the same page. But that would lead you to ask why President Trump is suddenly playing coy, given all the bluster and all the rhetoric that he's spewed in the past about Iran. Uh, specifically that locked and loaded tweet. Again, you played uh, that sound from Mark Short trying to walk that back. We should point out the president has used very similar language in the past, specifically speaking about military action in Iran. After they downed a U.S. drone this summer in June, the president tweeted that the military was cocked and loaded, ready to strike in Iran, but that ultimately he called that off. 
So again, we don't know exactly why President Trump is walking this fine line. Perhaps it's because he feels that playing coy could buy him a sort of meeting with the Iranian leadership, which we know he wants, Anderson. Um, but with, not without precondition, with no right. preconditions <laughs> or with conditions. I, I know the president talks right. about next steps in the investigation. What did he say? Right. So he mentioned that Secretary of State Pompeo, along with other senior administration officials, would be traveling to Saudi Arabia, apparently to assist in the investigation and potentially some kind of a response. I want to be really specific here about what the president said, because he was not. He said that the U.S. has all the materials that it needs uh, to prove that Iran was behind this. He says he wants to look at final numbers. And I quote, you look at a vector and you look at there are lots of different things we can look at. Unclear what the president means, because as you know, Anderson, CNN had previously reported that a U.S. official had told uh, CNN that American intelligence showed that this attack originated in Iran and that it was communicating that to our allies in the region.